I'm Walter Mather and welcome to Image Stories. Every limited edition print that I, that I make uh, has a unique story behind it. Uh, I am down in northern Arizona, um, just outside of, of Page, Arizona. The main reason why I'm down here is because I want to photograph Horseshoe Bend. Now, Horseshoe Bend is a destination photograph or a bucket list photograph. People will come from all over the world to photograph Horseshoe Bend. The bend is magnificent. It's 4,000 feet wide, 2,000 feet deep. And um, the Colorado just cuts a great big, what looks like a horseshoe um, out of this canyon. And uh, you know, it's taken millions of years to form. And I was like, well, I'm like, I have got to, I've got to see that. I want to photograph it. I don't care if it's been photographed a hundred billion trillion times. And so I thought, well, you know what? Let's go get it out of your mind and into a print. Um, but right now I'm, I'm actually just cruising down to BLM uh, Road to where I'm gonna camp for a couple of days. Ooh. All right, so this is the coolest camping spot ever. I may have found a secret slot canyon on the backside. So far, I, really did, I dig this camp spot. It's really cool. I mean, I've got my tent setting right up against the rocks there. Uh, I like it. Okay. It is a beautiful night. The stars are out, the moon is out. I do, I do love photography. I love photography, I always have. Uh, ever since I was a young, a young kid, I've loved photography and filmmaking. I kind of feel like photography and filmmaking is just a, a oh, it's just a, a a catalyst for my uh, just a catalyst for my life. Like we only have so much time in this world, and um, and how you spend that time. A lot of people, including myself, used to think that's all about finding the finding the image um, but it's not really about finding the image it's more about finding yourself grateful to be having this fire in this particular location right now this is awesome this might be the nicest campfire I've ever had it's like this little amphitheater that I'm in it's I don't know, it's just perfect. Okay, so behind me, you see the canyon. Uh, we're just coming down the trail now uh, to get down there. Um, so far, it looks pretty good. No clouds, cool moon starting to show up. Um, but we'll see what the afternoon light does. All 
right, so we're all set up. Just gotta wait for the light. Uh, this image will not work. It's way too contrasty until that sun is like just about to set. And I've gotta tell you what, I do not like heights. Like my stomach is just turning right now. Uh, and it's like, that's your basic instinct to keep you alive and away from the edge. But like literally right here is a 2000 foot drop to rock. Um, so I'm just gonna sit quietly, patiently, wait for the light to get good, then we'll take the shot. Little dirt's good for your immune system, digestive tract. Everybody should ingest a little dirt now and then. This afternoon out at Horseshoe Bend was was pretty cool. I gotta say the the canyon was uh, was spectacular. I got there and I picked out a spot, and I knew after I looked through the camera once or twice. I knew that was that was the uh, that was the spot for me. I was really happy with uh, with the spot I had picked out. You know, sometimes when it's when there's a lot of people in a location, I find it hard to really focus and think about photography. Well, really, I learned that if you're in an area that has a lot of people, just put yourself on the edge of a 2,000 foot drop and you'll find a way to focus. I was too worried about whether I was gonna trip or stumble or knock a piece of gear over the side to be worried about anybody else. We didn't have a cloud in the sky, so my only option was to wait until that sun was just about to set and shoot right into it, get the starburst, um, and then and that's right when it lit up the rocks to my left. Like right as the sun set, it like shot some light through, lit up those rocks in my foreground. And I was just like, yep, yeah, baby. And that's what I'm looking for. If you, uh, if you enjoy adventures and videos like these, uh, please consider subscribing. Give the video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Um, and also, if you're in the market for... Uh, fine art photography for your home or office or as a gift, uh, please visit my website, um, which is matherfineart.com. Maybe there are no hidden slot canyons. Maybe they've all been discovered. No way.